What we're doing with Cuentos Fantásticos is we're presenting basically a collection of short stories, a collection of short monologues uh, that, that communicate the strange and fantastic. Um, some, some are short, some are under five minutes in length. Uh, in, in our presentation, there are a few that are roughly 18 minutes, maybe longer, maybe shorter. Um, but I like the variety. It, it just depends on the story you're telling and um, what, you're, what you're trying to say uh, with a particular story. And uh, this selection, this presentation is very important to me. It's one of the first that, uh, that we've done here at Arte Cella Rosa. Uh, in a while, as far as adult presentations, you know, plays for grown-ups, uh, so to speak. And I really wanted to uh, uh, just bring something to the table that we could maybe do an annual thing. And that's sort of why this is Quintos Fantasticals Volume 1. I hope to reconvene next year and do another presentation. Maybe they're not monologues, maybe they're, maybe they're short plays, maybe we do two longer plays, but uh, I'd like to try to keep this going. I think there's, there's plenty of room uh, in the neighborhood and in our culture for sort of fantastical stories, you know. Um, you know, I mean, as a culture, we celebrate Day of the Dead. And, uh, you know, I think we, we I could, <laughs> I want to speak for uh, our culture when I say, you know, we pride ourselves in uh, our creepy, our short stories, our La Llorona's, our La Lechuza's, our Cucuy's. Um, they teach lessons, they're fun. Uh, we all get a kick out of them. And um, I, I really think they're, they're something special. So our collection of stories, we have, um, we have Anissa who's dealing with a celestial experience and storytelling. We have Nadine whose story deals with pop culture phenomenon and ghosts. Uh, we have Martina who, she's dealing with time travel. We have, um, we have Susan who's dealing with the consequences of a rapidly changing world, repercussions of war. We, we have Dad, who's dealing with a strange encounter along the Texas-Mexico border and certain life changes. We, um, we have Freddie, who's dealing with um, basically a legend we all grew up with. We have Ron, who's dealing with the strange power of art. And um, we have Rob, who story deals with a, a strange new religion that started in his uncle's backyard. And uh, we also have a Chupacabra story.